Can see the screen? Yeah. Okay. So what do you want to discuss? Um, well, I was doing some of these problems. From which one? Um, wait, I'm getting it open. Um, it's loading. Uh, number 20. And then 23. What is it? It's loud over there. Yeah? Yeah. I can hear something in the background, but I'm not sure what it is. No, it's uh, some street vendor. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, position uh, time graph. So what it will give? XT curve, right? Yeah. So what information you can get from XT curve? What is like slope, slope of XT curve? Forward or backwards? Oh, the slope is displacement. Slope of XT curve is what? What is the DX by DT? Hmm? What is DX by DT? Velocity. Huh. Slope is DX by DT, right? Yeah. Huh. So then what is slope of XT curve? Velocity. Yeah. So the first A part, how is the slope? What is the slope? Negative. A part. Slope is what? Like a, a negative slope. Horizontal, right? Oh, yeah. And then slope is how much? Like zero. Yeah. Suppose I call this portion as x. Okay. So this is velocity. So for a part, velocity is zero. Okay. And what is happening in b? The slope is this like this, and then this like this. so slope is what? What is happening to slope? Um, it's starting to increase. So velocity is increasing. Okay. So I have a question for a. If it's the slope is zero, the object is not moving. Yeah. Okay. So for B, it's increasing, so it's um, starting to move slowly. It's a uh, yeah. It's increasing, and and you can see right the x, x position is changing. Mm -hmm. In the A part, the x, x, the x is always same. What is the A? Sorry, part? I'm writing it down. What? For the A part. Yeah. X is always this value, right? Yeah. So x is not changing means it's not moving. Mm-hmm. In the B part, the X, X value is changing, right? Yeah. But it's moving slowly. So slowly initially. See here the here when it is this this part V is low. After that yeah. the V is increasing, right? Yeah. Okay. Slow to start off and then velocity is increasing. Mm -hmm. uh, the main point is velocity is increasing. Okay. okay. And you can also say velocity is positive because the slope okay. is positive, right? Yeah. Like so I said, starting to move positively, um, but slowly. No, slowly doesn't make sense. No, why is it? Why are you saying slow? Here the velocity is more, right? Yeah. Huh. Here it is small. It is slow, fast. It doesn't have. You don't have to say. We just have to say velocity mm -hmm. is increasing from zero. Okay. To some value. Okay. Um, and then C. 
See what is uh, happening, happening to the slope? It's continuing to move up, but then at a certain point, time is zero, so it stops. Where does it stop? Like at the t-axis? No. It's not zero? It's stopping or this thing is just the slope, no? What is the value of the slope here? Positive. Yeah, and it's, see here the slope was increasing, right? Yeah. What is happening in C part? This, what is the value of slope? Just positive. Positive, but it's changing or not? No. And it's constant? Yeah. Huh. So here V is constant, C part. Okay, so like constant positive velocity? Yeah, it's also greater than zero. Okay. So it could be like plus two, plus two, plus two, plus two everywhere. Okay. Okay, B part it's positive, but it's, the value is changing. It's starting from zero and then keeps on increasing. Yeah. Okay. Suppose if I call this point as two, at this point the velocity will be V2. And from here, the velocity is always V2 until this okay. point. Because okay. the property of a straight line is the slope is same, right? Yeah. Okay, so C part is a straight line. Mm -hmm. So its velocity is constant because the slope is constant. Mm -hmm. but it's a positive slope. Okay. And D part, what is happening with the slope? It's still increasing, but it's starting to slow down. Slope is decreasing. This is the slope. After that, the slope is becoming like this, right? That's E though. Isn't part E when the slope is decreasing? No. Okay. See, at this point, this is the slope. At this point, this is the slope. At this point, this yeah. is the slope. What is happening with the slope? Um, it's starting to slow down. Slope is decreasing. Okay. Huh. So velocity is, uh, velocity is reducing and velocity is still positive. Okay. And then part E is when your slope is, your, your slope is decreasing you're, and you're slowing down. How is slope is decreasing? Here, here, this slope and this slope, which is more steep? Like the last part? Ah, so, so velocity is increasing, but velocity is negative. Oh, so it's negative and speeding up. Yeah. So actually, V is increasing means the magnitude of the V. Okay. But is your object still moving forward or is it starting to move backwards? Uh, see, if X is decreasing, which is moving uh, forward. Here from here to here, what is, the, what is happening to the value of x? Um, it's increasing. Decreasing, right? Here, this is the value of x. Here, this is the value of x. Okay. So it's decreasing. Here, x okay. is decreasing. D part, x is increasing. Okay. X increasing means moving in the forward direction. Okay. So e x is decreasing, it's moving backwards. So A, B, C, D is always moving forward because A, B, C, and D, X is always increasing. Okay. Only, only the E part, X is decreasing. Okay. With mm -hmm. time. Okay, so only in the E part, it's moving backwards. Okay. Um, next problem is 23. You check the key? Uh, for 20? No, no, yeah. Uh, hold on, it'll take a minute to load. Uh, yeah, that's right. It's right. Okay. 
So position time graph, the slope of the position time graph is uh, the velocity. Uh -huh. Okay, moving forward or moving backward is decided by whether x is increasing or decreasing. Okay. So x is increasing means it's moving towards plus infinity. Okay. X is decreasing means moving towards minus infinity. Okay. This one, yeah, this is velocity versus time graph. Yeah, I'm going to try that one by myself. Yeah, so what is slope of velocity time graph? Um, acceleration. Yeah. Okay, I think you, you can do. Yeah. Uh, number 23, I was confused on. Okay, your rock is thrown with velocity B naught, using the maximum height H, what will the maximum height B with rock the rock was thrown with the initial velocity to V naught? Huh, first thing you draw a figure, you would not you would not have drawn the figure. Yeah, I didn't. Huh. Okay, so he's he's just being thrown. So I assume it's thrown up and then down. Yeah, just draw a figure for that. Yeah, I drew it. Okay, draw the figure. Draw another figure for the second case. Um. You can draw a separate figure. How do you draw it with a two vo? That's what you would draw. I mean, that's how you would understand. Okay, uh, you are assuming it's thrown uh, vertically. Let, let's assume, oh, assume yeah. that. This, is, um, this isn't 2D motions yet. Okay, we can assume the simple one. It's thrown vertically. Okay, first thing is this is Earth's surface. Okay, so I'm throwing mm -hmm. it vertically. Yes. Okay, so it's going up. And then coming down, I'll re represent like this. Okay, that's what I drew. So this velocity is V naught. Okay, now the okay. second case, I'm going to uh, draw. So what height will it reach now? Two times that. Not necessary. But it'll be a greater height. Yeah. Here the initial velocity is two V naught. How do you calculate this height? Say H1 in the first case and this height is H2. So how do you find H1? Um, the one half AT plus V sub zero, VOT plus um, Y sub zero. One half AT plus? Yeah. Is that always the equation you use for height? This equation is for displacement, right? Yeah. Oh, so uh, height is displacement only. Okay. And uh, you have to, you know, you have to find the T we have to find, right? Um, yeah, but it's proportional reasoning. So you, you use the factor it's changing of. No, no. The T you have to find out. Okay. So how do you find out T? T is the time taken to go from here to here, right? Yeah. Let me call that time T1. Okay. And this thing will become H1. How do you, how do you find T1? Um, couldn't you use V squared? Or V uh, equals AT plus? V squared equal to 2A X plus V naught square. And what is V? Um, we don't know. V at this point is how much? Um, zero. So huh. it's V zero. So zero equal to, and uh, acceleration say minus G. Okay. This is H1 plus uh, initial speed V naught square. In the second case, again, there's here the velocity will be zero. Mm -hmm. 
so zero equal to two minus g h two plus v o t two we know the whole square yeah okay so from this I get h one as v naught square by two g and h two from here I get as uh, four times v naught square by two okay. g so this is four times h one so your height is four times as much yeah wouldn't it be negative because you have negative g you have to take it on the other side no oh, okay oh right yeah so it'd be four times as much so this is the answer okay i'll revise this after uh, yeah I'll, I'll send you this uh file okay i'll save and send it to you so check the key uh okay one second um yeah that's right yeah that's right Hmm. There's another problem like this, so I can try that one. Again, the portion time uh, graph, if you take the derivative, it will, uh, the slope is the velocity. Yeah. So use okay. that idea. So rank the labeled moments from greatest to least. You want to do now? You can do on your own. No, I think I'm going to try that one on my own. I'm going to do 25 myself too because um, that's similar. Yeah. Um, can you help me with which one was it? One, one second. This one was in the beginning. Which one? 34. Not, sorry, 34. Yeah. What is magnitude exactly? This one, right? Yeah. See uh, how far the projectile has traveled uh, in two seconds. The x component. How how much is x at the end of two yeah, seconds? What's magnitude? Magnitude is displacement is a vector, no? Yeah. See, uh, the projectile says it's going from here. At some particular point, it is here, right? Mm -hmm. So this is the x that is traveled. Yeah. And this is the y that is traveled. Yeah. And this x and y, I can combine and call this as a vector. Mm -hmm. This is the displacement d. Okay. Okay. This is a vector and this x component is x. Oh, so you'd use cosine and sine. So it would be no, cosine. No, you, you don't have to do that because you are calculating x and y individually, right? Yeah. So you just have to find x. Oh, only x? Okay. Yeah. There so is a horizontal, you... horizontal component of projectile. Displacement yeah. is another way of saying x. Okay. So okay. then cosine of 60 times 30. No. You have to find x. You have x equal to uh, half a t square plus v naught t. Okay, first I'm going to label everything I know. Okay, so I know that it's so x sub zero, velocity for x, v sub zero, and v is 60 degrees, is 30 meters per second at 60 degrees. Okay, x sub zero is zero. I don't know x, right? I don't know the range. That's what you have to find out. Yeah, okay. Acceleration is zero. Um, time is two seconds, right? Yeah, at the end of two seconds. Okay, so then I'm gonna do 
and at the acceleration in the acceleration there is no acceleration it is zero only can you use x equals vt plus x sub zero yeah yeah same okay, thing you will get if, if you put acceleration equal to zero you get that one okay huh. so x equals so then i would do 30 like cosine of 30 times 60 no th cosine of 60 times 30 30 cos 60 so 15 And then x sub zero is zero. Yeah. X equals 30. So my magnitude of the horizontal component is 30 meters. So answer is 15 meters. Wait, just to make sure I did this right. I did the cosine of 60 degrees and then I multiplied that by 30. Yeah. Okay, yeah, just make okay, that's right. Time. What? In yeah, I multiplied time. it by two. 15 yeah. times 2 is 30. So 30 meters. Yeah. And then now I have to find the displacement. So... No, no, no. Why displacement? It says displacement at the... No, horizontal component of displacement. Oh. Horizontal component of displacement is x only. Okay. That's it. Okay, so then it's just... Okay. That wasn't that bad. Check the key. Uh, what problem? 34. Um... Yeah, they got 30 meters too. Yeah, it's just a uh, confusing way of saying x, find x. Instead of saying find x, similarly, you, if they say it's vertical component of projectile displacement, you have to find y. Yeah. Okay, so just, just to confuse you or make you understand what is meant by horizontal component displacement, uh, they are just uh, put this thing, okay? Okay. It's just finding x. Okay. The vertical component of projectile displacement is finding y. You can just yeah. forget that term. Uh, vertical component. You just have to find y. Okay. Um, yeah. I did not know how to do 37 through 39. They gave me really confusing equations for 37. Uh, first thing you draw the figure and after that uh, whatever your teacher told you that uh, both you can do uh, like drawing uh, tape, putting the table x, x and y, mm -hmm. given quantities of what you have to find. Okay. So use a diagram to get, uh, okay. Yeah, plug size. So this is horizontal launch or not? Uh huh. Is this horizontal launch? Um. Yes. Because initial velocity in the vertical direction is zero. Yes. Initial velocity is fully in the horizontal direction. Yeah. Okay, so it's very simple. Okay. You can you can try now. Okay. What is the relationship between the distances x and h? Um, X, I think it's B. Don't just guess it, you have to write the equation. Okay. And you have to write the steps on the paper, not do in the mind. Okay. Relation between X and H. Mm -hmm. Okay. So basically, out of uh, okay, H is Y, right? Yes. So Y equal to half A T square plus V naught Y direction into T mm -hmm. plus Y naught. Is that right? Yes. And uh, I'll, I'll choose my origin in a proper way. So can, can I choose my origin here, like this? Yes. X comma Y. So in that case, uh, what happens to Y naught? How much is Y naught? Zero. Origin is here, right? Wow. Yeah. Initially, this is at this much height. I, I don't know what the height is. H. Why, why are you writing it as H? This is the initial question, right? But isn't it zero? Origin is here, no. Okay. I've chosen the x, x y coordinates here. Okay. Huh. According to its coordinate system, the initial position is at the height of h. Okay. X naught is zero. X naught is zero? Yeah, yeah I know okay. that. X naught is almost always zero. 
not always it always depends on the where you choose your access origin of the coordinate system that's your choice right yeah okay so as long as you choose one particular coordinate system and be consistent with that you will get the correct answer okay so according to my choice of this origin mm -hmm. uh, why not is h this is my origin okay and uh, what is y what is y not and what what is y y ah uh, zero yeah because finally it's reaching here according to my coordinate system it should be it is zero okay and what is a negative 9.8 g negative g and t square that's the thing you have to find out and what is v not y zero ah uh, horizontal launch yeah so from this i can get the time as 2h by g this is the time of flight right yeah uh, after that how do you find the x how do you find x yeah x equal to what like x sub 0 or plus vt huh and vt is same as v not xt because in the horizontal direction velocity is not going to change mm -hmm. because acceleration due to earth is in the vertical direction mm -hmm. and x not is 0 plus v not is how much v not x v not x 0 initial velocity in the horizontal direction um that is this one right v not yeah wouldn't that just be high velocity is uh, v not x is same as v not so zero why is v not if it is zero how will it fall down initially you um, are giving velocity v not right yeah the initial velocity is zero it will not move at all so I, but like they didn't give us a numerical value numerical value is not required no symbol is there the symbol is a known known quantity. The symbols which are given are known quantities. Oh, so isn't it just V O? Yeah. Okay. And what is T? T is T. I don't. We don't know what it is yet. That you have found out right previously. Two H by G. Yeah. So this is the relation. Um. Which option is it? A it's the closest where is, where is the square root? I mean it's the closest yeah, yeah. I think we have made a mistake here. Oh, because it's T squared. T is square root of this thing, two H by G. So it'll be A because it's a square root. Which option? A. Yeah. Check the key. Um, okay. Yes, it's right. Yeah, see, this is very basic. To get a time of flight, it's always easy to catch the vertical motion. Okay. So okay. I should calculate the, cal the vertical motion? No, that's what you did. Uh, how do you get time here? By using the vertical motion, right? Yeah. Another way to get the time from vertical motion is you can use this uh, uh, V equal to A T plus V naught. Yes. This is all y direction. Okay. And V Y the final okay, the initial V naught Y is zero. Okay. Oh okay, we don't know the final V naught. You know, this is not useful here. Okay, here uh, this way it's not because we don't know the final V Y. Mm -hmm. So this is a this is the way to get it. Okay. So just revise after I finish. Yeah, I'm going to. The height uh, is doubled. Height is doubled. Uh, the puck now travels a distance x1 compared to x. So this is very simple. Okay. Try. Okay, so I should create another equation, right? So it's how to x and x1. Not, uh, see, uh, the previous analysis, instead of h, you just have a, instead of h, you have a 2h, right? Okay. Okay. Um, so in this, x equal to v naught, the first option, if you put, mm -hmm. uh, 
H as two H, you will get X one. Okay. So how much is X one compared to X naught? Um, it's twice as much. I think it's. I think it's going to be. No, a D. Did you just uh, write out on the paper? It's wrong. Um, I think it's D. Hold on. X one equal to V naught into square root of two into instead of H, I have to put two H, right? Yeah. Divided by G. So this is okay. root two times X naught. Okay. If I call this as this, this as X naught. Okay. Okay, it will become root two times H naught because I need two H by G inside the root. Only I have to take one, one, two, which is inside, out. So that will become root two. Wait, wait. Can you explain that again, please? See, in this one, uh -huh. you have to replace H by two H, right? Yes. Okay. Oh, so, you just substitute it. Yeah, because everything will be same. Uh huh. It also says the height of the table is now doubled. Yeah, yeah. So it has to be times two. Yeah. So. Okay, uh, this the same analysis I can get x1 as v0 into square root of 2h1 by g, right? Yes. Huh. So now h1 is 2h. Okay. Okay, so once you put 2h and take the one of the two outside, it will become root 2 times h0. Okay. Oh, I see. So wouldn't it be D? The answer is D. Yeah. And then, wait, let me check. Oh, so, so the thing is that this one, this, right. the 37, you got this answer, right? So same answer, you can write like this, X1 equal to, V0 is not going to change, so square root of 2, H1 by G. Okay. Because in the second case of H, you have H1. So in mm -hmm. of X, we have X1. And now H1 is 2H. D? Yeah. Oh, we, got we got the answer. I'm just explaining again. So you multiply both sides by G? I would. So previously we got this answer, right? X equal to V naught square root of 2H by G. Yes. Now, now if I change the height to H1, this will be the answer X1 equal to V naught square root of 2H1 by G. Mm -hmm. Okay. And in this one, you have to put H1 equal to 2H. Okay. So is it clear? Yes. I'm going to revise this afterwards though. Yeah. So now we take just one of the two outside because I need to compare with this one. Okay. So that way I'll get this as answer. Okay. Which of the following describes the vertical motion of the puck? Um, I think it's A. Just a minute, what is happening? Uh, it's question 39. Okay, which of the following is this is the vertical motion of the puck. So vertical motion means you have to find V, Y. Yes. Vertical motion is all Y, Y components. So V, Y, A, Y, and Y. Okay, that's why it's part of Y versus T, not yes. X versus T. Okay, so all this mm -hmm. A are just A Y. Okay, so it's the simplest thing to catch is the acceleration. Okay. What is the value of acceleration in the Y direction? Negative 9.8. Minus G. So option A is correct. Okay. So, sorry, not yeah. option A. This figure. The and it's, it's constant because of the force of gravity. Yeah, so this is wrong. Yeah, because it's positive. Yeah. It's above the t-axis. Yeah. And what is going to happen to y component of the velocity? Increase or decrease? The velocity is going to 
What? Velocity will increase or decrease? Decrease. Why will it decrease? Earth is continuously pulling it, right? Oh, it'll increase. Yeah. Velocity speeds up and it go down. Yeah. So this oh, second one is correct. Third is wrong. Mm -hmm. Okay. So this is correct. Okay. And y versus time. And uh, is this correct? Um, wait, which one? The last one. Why no. versus t? Why no, is because y sub zero is not equal to zero. Like the starting yeah. position is wrong. Y sub zero is not zero, it's h, no? Yeah, ah. but this one's saying that it's zero. Okay, the, that's it. here. Here has mentioned uh, zero. Uh, see, that again depends on the choice of the. That's not our main point. Here, he has not uh, mentioned as y equals zero, right? Okay, mm -hmm. maybe the, that, that's a minor point. See, the important thing is this on the slope, the slope of the yt curve. What is happening to the slope? Curve. It's increasing at first, but then it starts to become like a straight line at the end, kind of. Here, the slope is vertical, right? Yeah. And here it is horizontal. So here the slope is zero. Yeah. So here the slope is more. So velocity is decreasing here. Mm -hmm. So this is not a correct representation. Okay. Velocity is increasing. Mm -hmm. So this, this is also wrong. Okay. So the correct ones are one and one and two. Okay. Check the key. Um Oh, only one is right. The first one. Okay, maybe A because the sign here is put. Uh, uh, see, the, the speed is increasing as the time increases, but the direction of the speed is uh, downwards. Mm -hmm. Okay, so maybe. is not equal to T. Uh, just a minute. This is the last one for me. I got everything else. So instead of this thing, if uh, see velocity initially is small, so as the time goes increasing, the velocity is increasing. So instead of this thing, if it was like this, then it, this would have been correct. Yeah. Okay. Here this is wrong because the velocity is decreasing. Okay. Okay. Here the velocity is increasing, but it's positive. Maybe because of that, he has, he he has said this is not correct. But if it is like this, it would have been correct. Okay. Right. So important thing is you first draw the diagram and then you can uh, make the table X, Y, uh -huh. given quantities and what you have to find out. Don't uh, skip the steps, especially okay. when, you, when you're practicing at home, you have to go through the steps. During okay. test, you might be in a hurry, but yeah. if you're doing the steps at home, then you can do the steps quickly at uh, in the exam. Okay. okay. She told okay. us to do the questions that you know how to do for sure first, and then do the ones that take more time or that you're not fully sure about. Yeah, yeah, but don't skip the steps. You have to go write the steps quickly. That way okay. you don't have to waste time. Yeah, I'm not too nervous about the math portion or like the writing portion. I'm just a little nervous about the position, acceleration, and velocity versus time, and then proportional re reasoning, which is math. Um, so okay. I think I'm going to revise that. Yeah, re revise that. While revising first, uh, hide the solution and uh, try it again. Okay. Okay, and then see where you are going wrong. Okay. Okay, uh, the, right now it's your uh, night time, right? Maybe yeah, tomorrow, to, tomorrow morning okay. if, there is, if there is something, message me. Okay, um, tomorrow morning, like my teacher has a review session at okay. night. So I think I'm gonna go to that. Okay. But if I have questions, I'll let you know. But yeah, thank yeah. you so much. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'll, I'm saving this file and sending it to you right now. Okay. Okay then. Okay. Shall Thank you so much. Yeah, bye. Bye. All the best. Thank you.